Hello everyone, this is John from Western Maine Defensive Tactics. Just want to give you a quick look at the Mills belt I dyed. Like I said, I was going to do in the uh, the secondary rifle video. This is the, the same yellow Mills belt I had the 45 cells, 4570 shells in. So basically, <coughs> I dyed it black. Uh, I originally wanted to go with an OD green, but I couldn't find an OD green dye that I really had confidence it was going to come out OD and not some bright green that I didn't really like. So I went with basic green and I'm, I'm sorry, basic black because that's what they had at Walmart for dye. Uh, Rit dye, if you've never used it, I think I used it when I was a kid, but I'm not sure. But anyway, the directions are something like you put it in three gallons of hot water I'm, because they assume you're dyeing an item of clothing or something like that. But I used about a gallon, gallon and a half just in an old feed bucket or something like that. And you add a little salt to it and then you let your item soak until it gets the the darkness that you want then you pull it out and rinse it with hot water and that's what i did laid it out to dry uh it worked pretty well overall it didn't get a nice deep dark you know pitch black color but i really wasn't looking for that i'm pretty happy with the you know kind of a worn black finish like it has on it now as long as it's not bright yellow i'm good and i was gonna my original plan was to spray paint the brass uh flat black as well but basically I had to use OD green because that's what I had and my my uh, flat black spray paint wouldn't work that day. So I just spray painted it green. Who cares? Um, the idea being it's not bright yellow. The only real downside to this whole process is the belt was getting pretty well broken in. When I first bought it, the loops were very, very tight. I had to use tools to get the uh, uh, 4570 shells in there. And basically what I did is I would put them in from this direction, shove them all the way in, let them sit for a week, and then I'd pull them out and put them in the other, other direction. Uh, because this belt was wet down with the dye, obviously, the the uh, loops tightened up a little bit, so I'm going to have to go through that process again, though not quite to the same extent. So, so still a pretty good way to lug a bunch of 4570 shells. Uh, Mills belts are also made in 3040 Crag, I believe, and I want to say... Don't quote me on this. I want to say that'll fit 45, uh, sorry, 3030 Winchester uh, or other rim cartridges like that. Probably, it'll probably fit 3855. Actually, this belt will probably fit 3855 too. Uh, anyway, Mills belts, if you don't know, I'm, and I'm not an expert on the history of these, uh, they were adopted in the 1880s, I believe, because of the issue with storing brass case ammunition in leather shell belts creates layer of vertigris and corrosion and it makes it you know sometimes sticky in the chamber and hard to hard to remove and things like that so they started using these cloth belts and this with the exception of uh the time this belt was actually in the dye and out drying so like a day day and a half these car the brass cartridges here have been in here for all that time and they look good nothing wrong with them a little bit of a pattern from the uh a, a slight pattern. I don't know if you can see that. A slight pattern from the uh, weave, but other than that, they're fine. And I realize, yes, this is not very stealthy with you know bright nickel shells, but I'll shoot the nickel the nickel uh, rounds up at some point and replace it with my my pet load of uh, lead bullets. But anyway, hope this helps you out. And uh, don't overlook the the Mills belt. It's still a pretty good cartridge belt for lugging a bunch of forty five seventy shells. Probably gonna put like some kind of a pouch on this side too. Maybe for uh, some tools or maybe a few loose rounds. But this is a good way to load a single round directly into the chamber, which is what I, I really like shell belts for because it makes it a lot faster because it, it makes the, the cartridge more stable and held in an orientation where you can really get a consistent grasp on it and pluck it out of the belt, put it right in the chamber. So, all right, hope this helps you out. Take care.